Hello, I'm Dr. Jonathan Wills of Ghostbusters Northwest. Welcome to our video series, Spirit Guided Endings, where we're going to be classifying spirits you're not going to find in Tobin's Spirit Guide. As a paranormal taxonomist, I love classifying things. So much so that my second ex-wife would tell you it's my only true love, and that I purposely compartmentalize and classify things to keep people at a distance, apparently turning our home into a sterile prison. She didn't mind keeping that sterile prison in the divorce, and that would classify her as a bit. Beetlejuice! We all know him as the ghost with the most, but where does he stack up on our patented spectral classification system? Well, let's find out. Beetlejuice is an undead grifter. He claims to be a bioexorcist, and generally he preys upon the vulnerable demographic of the newly deceased. Upon manifestation, Beetlejuice has three distinct traits. He has a human form, he maintains his personality from his past life, and he has a robust and sophisticated means of defense. At first glance, this would make him a class 3. However, that classification only applies to an anonymous haunting. Beetlejuice clearly has a name. Once a class 3 self-identifies with the name, be it their moniker in life or one chosen after death, this makes them a class 4. But in Beetlejuice's case, it's a class 4 with a twist. Once Beetlejuice is summoned by the living, he creates a parasitic connection with the summoner. This will make him an elevated class 4, where his energy readings can reach much higher levels, even that of a class 7. That gives him the ability to bring inanimate objects to life, as well as transmogrification into animalistic forms. This makes him one of the most talented poltergeists we've ever faced. Beetlejuice was busted in the mid-90s by the original Ghostbusters franchise, led by Dr. Lydia Dietz, who encountered Beetlejuice as a teenager in the 80s. This inspired her to study parapsychology, where she became Egon Spangler's first pupil, and eventually a Ghostbuster herself. You may know her better by her middle name, Kylie, and she later changed her last name back to her mother's maiden name, Griffin. Thanks to her efforts, Beetlejuice has now been classified officially as a Class 4 free-roaming ghost, with corporeal, telekinetic, parasitic, animator traits. And that wraps up this episode of Spirit Guide Addendums. Stay tuned for future episodes where we're going to deep dive into the classifications of other famous entities that inspired pop culture. If you've accidentally summoned a Class 4, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters Northwest, serving the Pacific Northwest's supernatural elimination needs.